What's the motherfucking deal, Sauce Nation? It's your boy, Ed Honcho, and this is a Sauce Sports special. If you don't know what Sauce Sports is, Sauce Sports is a Houston homer channel, so we only talk about the Texans, Astros, Rockets, Dynamo, the Dash. We're talking collegiate, professional. We're talking semi-pro. We're talking high school. We're talking about all of them. We talk about H-Town athletes. We talk about athletes if they come to H-Town. We're going to talk about them. We're going to splash some sauce on them, put a little flavor on them. But today, like I said, this is South Sports Special. You can see we inside NRG. So we're going to take a little quick take on something I was thinking about that is, is, is a very good thing to me. So we're talking about the Texans today. And like I said, you can get at me, you know, uh, the uh, South Sports HTX if you want those. On Twitter, if you want those only soft sports, Houston soft sports takes, saucy takes. And you can hit me at the real Ed Honcho on Instagram and Twitter if you just, you know, fuck with your boy Ed Honcho like that. Um, but what I wanted to talk about, what I wanted to get on today, um, I was just looking over some things this weekend and just checking some stuff out. The Houston Texans defense, and I'm wondering, you know, if this has something to do with it. I'm wondering if. This is why they're starting to play so well or why they were playing well and why I think they will continue to play well and only improve. Um, if you look at that Houston Texans defense, the Houston Texans defense is, is basically homegrown. I mean, it's, it's, it's drafted or, you know, UDFAs who basically uh, came to Houston and, and were picked up to play. Like, only one who I think just didn't start their career – in Houston is uh, Jonathan Joseph. I'm thinking of we got Watt, Clowney, uh, Reader. That's good looking like you're, you're starting three right now. Uh, all H Town, all drafted. Um, who we got? Merciless, drafted. Uh, and then you got to think about a lot of these. Now I'm looking at this, it's a lot of a lot of number one draft picks still here too. Uh, Cushing, first round. Let's go back on that. Look, Watt, first round. Reader, uh, no. Clowney, first round. Um, who you got? Kareem Jackson, first round. Kevin Johnson, you know, he's, he's uh, I don't see he started, but, you know, first round guy that's still there. Uh, Cushing, first round. Um, not McKinney. Um, Scarlett was UDFA. But like I say, still, a lot of these guys all started their career here in Houston. Uh, been playing their entire careers here in Houston, and I think we'll be here for quite a while. And I think that's part of what's helping this thing gel. Uh, we look at the safeties and the and the cornerbacks and think, uh, who we got? I think like Hal and um, who else would be out there? I mean, really, whoever you got, if you got anybody put out there? Dylan. I mean, drafted a uh, unit. They put about whoever they put out there. I mean, uh, they're going to be a uh, pretty much H town product. And so I'm sitting here thinking, it's just like, is that? part of the thing is that one of the factors as <clears throat> one of the factors that is helping this defense gel even though some of these guys have been here you know before this regime but they all understand this culture of Houston this 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 feel of of how this team operates the way that this city gets behind them I mean um you look at the offensive side of the ball there's a little bit I mean you know your receivers yeah um uh, to your quarterbacks, your linemen, a uh, couple of them, but you know, uh, there's there's a few pieces. But like I say for the majority, most of the team is. But on defense, like I say, it's just uh, one guy, and that's Jonathan Joseph. But he's been here so long, you know, you almost forget he played with the uh, with, with Cincinnati. And so it, I wonder if that's part of it. So we're gonna give him credit since he spent majority. We're gonna we gonna we gonna, we gonna, we gonna let him make it. We gonna give some extra credit. We are gonna let him make it. But pretty much this defense is homegrown, you know, and I wonder, like, if that is something that has made this defense thrive. There's not a lot of outside pieces. They don't really – they've made they've, – they've had that experiment. It's failed, you know. And so I think that, you know, either the, the talent, they're just doing really well. Maybe 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 Rick Smith is doing better than, a, than I want to give him credit for. Maybe they're finding uh, better, like I say, undrafted talent, which they are pretty good at doing. You know, they, they find some real nice undrafted guys here and there. Um, but you know, keeping talent at home, that's a, that's a big deal. You know, keeping the talent at home, uh, was like, I say, think about that. A lot of first round guys on that defense that everybody's still here. And like I say, a lot of them still in their, their initial con, a couple of them are still in their initial contracts and stuff like that. But you have guys that have been here for a significant amount of time. So, 
you know, I think that this organization is doing well by the players, but I, I, I just expect to see that defense. I mean, like I said, I just that's what I get most excited about. Because, you know, we, we can talk about, you know, the, 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 the pieces that we have. You know, no one's overly optimistic about time. I, I, you know, I think he can be capable. I really do. I really do believe he could be a capable quarterback. I think he could be uh, a quality quarterback. I mean, I don't know about, you know, top ten. Um, but I think he can come out there and I think he can make some plays. I think that his time and system will translate and it will see that on the field. But this homegrown talent and being able to keep this talent here – I think that is part of the reason why this defense has been, you know, quality. You know, last year we had uh, – it was Will Fork, but so we'll see how Reader translates into taking that spot. But, you know, um, I don't – I just think that – I think that might be a factor that may be part of a key. I don't know. Let me know what you think. What do you guys think? Am I just over – am I looking too much into it? Or, or is it that the Texans are really that talented on the defensive side about that they've been able to keep guys here, even tra- carrying over from when, when Phillips was here, uh, and be able to maintain that talent? Or what is it? Do you think that they've just been doing that, that good of a job, um, you know, finding the coaches that can, you know, that can, that can take, bring the skills out of these guys, that can, that can make these guys perform at the highest levels? Or do you think that – that was more just kind of building Bill O'Brien and being uh, affiliated with the guys that he's connected with and having the the pieces to to bring those in, but you know who who gets credit for that? Is that is that Smith's credit? Is that is that Bob's credit? Is it the Texans as an organization? Is that our culture? What is what is it that keeps this this talent home? What what is it that we're doing? Like I say, we don't have a bunch of crazy pieces. Like I say, it's only one guy. I mean, as, as your starters, if you're looking at your starters currently, how they have them uh, as the depth chart is currently listed. And that's Jonathan Joseph. So, <clears throat> I like J.J. Like I said, we gave Jonathan Joseph, we're going to give him a pass, you know what I'm saying, because he didn't been here long enough. But, like I said, you know, you guys let me know. You know, I'm not reading too much into this. Do you guys think that that is a factor? Do you think that, you know, I'm just overly excited about this damn defense. I just want to talk about him, you know. But we'll see what happens. Like I said, we're definitely going to see what happens and um, go from there. But like I said, there's just a thought I had on my mind. You know, let me know, Sauce Nation, what you think about that. Hey, man, I'm your boy Ed Honcho. Like I said, you can catch me at the real Ed Honcho. You want them saucy only, saucy H-Town sports takes at Sauce Sports HTX on Twitter. With that being said, oh, SauceSports.com. Don't forget about that. And, man, I, I always forget to mention it because Facebook is, you know, they ain't let me get my name because I don't have enough likes on it. Man, y'all please go and uh, check out the Sauce Sports Facebook page, yeah, I got a Facebook and like that because I got to get like a certain amount of likes before they let me name it the right way, the way I want. So you're gonna probably have to like search it. It's a link in the description for it. Um, it's one in Bitly. You have to ring. Just look in the description. I got a bunch of links to other stuff. So uh, just just check it out, please. And uh, let me get some likes up on that. Cause I need some likes up on that Facebook page. Like I said, cause I'm gonna start doing some things. I'm still working on the site. I'm making some big changes to that. When it's ready, y'all gonna y'all gonna really dig that. But Give me some likes on the Facebook page, man, so I can get that stuff right, so I can get that sauce and get the flavor right over there. But I always, like I say, I appreciate it. Do so. Sauce Nation, y'all be cool. I'm Ed Honcho, and I'm out.